Hello and good afternoon everybody. Welcome to Elite Weather. I am Mr. G, your meteorologist. Thank you for joining me today on your Sunday afternoon. Sorry for the late video and that I haven't made a video over the last several days because I've been busy with schoolwork, trying not to fall behind there. So we're going to keep it going for you today with today's video and hopefully we have a good week of getting some videos out for you guys today, okay? So we'll try not to drop the ball again and keep track of that weather. Uh, thankfully, it's been mostly quiet across the country, even though it's been bonkers across the state of California with that heavy, heavy snow. But we've seen those dry conditions across the Southern Plains and parts of the Southern Rockies as well. But we have that red flag advisory across Texas, and that extends all the way up into Nebraska and two parts of Colorado and New Mexico we have that red flag advisory because of very dry conditions and very high winds and fairly warm temperatures for this time of the year and everything is pretty dry out there so it's been very easy to burn as we've seen with several fires burning over the southern plains especially over Texas where we have one fire that burned over one million acres which is the largest fire in Texas history. Our city of the day is going to be Brickell in Miami, Florida. Brickell is a beautiful expensive place. You can only live there for this area for mainly for the rich and super the super famous. <laughs> so anyway, this is my this Will Smith territory down there in Miami. All right, so anyway, I used to live down here. I used to live in Aventura back in the day. So so anyway, we're going to jump into our weather maps. We see those clouds, cloudy skies up there with some rain showers, some thunderstorms across the state of Florida, all the way down into Miami as well. We're seeing those showers and thunderstorms today. So here is our first map. And we're going to pull up and we're going to take a look at our surface map and the radar combined here. So we have an area of low pressure across the upper Midwest that's going to be bringing some thunderstorms across eastern Minnesota, western Wisconsin. We did see some hail just a little bit ago, about one inch diameter hail. So a pretty good hail storm across parts of western Wisconsin. So we have some severe weather across the upper Midwest that is enough to be considered a severe thunderstorm, at least one inch diameter hail. So we are seeing some severe thunderstorms quickly moving across parts of the upper Midwest, across western Wisconsin. There is that rain across the state of Florida, down here on the Florida Peninsula mostly, from Jacksonville down to Miami and the Keys. We're seeing a little severe, uh, that heavy rainfall as well. No severe weather at this time across the state of Florida, but you do have a, a marginal risk for some severe weather. A weak tornado is always going to be possible. Some hail has also have been observed across the state of central Florida, so we're going to have that potential and that to watch out for across the state of Florida. On the west coast, we had a lot of snow across California. Record amounts of snow. We've seen snow by the feet across California, as much as 10 feet across parts like over Mammoth Mountain and Tahoe, we saw 10 feet of snow. You should have seen some of the video coming from California. It was unbelievable, that snow, man. We know where our snow is. That's the snow that we typically see here in Minnesota, but luckily for us, Ooh, we don't have we have dry ground, we're looking at bare ground, brown grass south there. Dead grass from last fall is still on the ground. We're looking at here in the upper middle. Do you know it was 70 degrees in the Twin Cities today? Good grief. <laughs> 70. God dang. So but anyway, that was the last day. We're gonna drive back down to 50 tomorrow, but we're gonna see those showers in the area today. Temperatures in the 70s, that's enough for to bruise some thunderstorms. So thunderstorms in the forecast for this afternoon. We've already seen them moving off to the east over Wisconsin now. So I think we might settle down for the remainder of the day here. But Florida, you guys are going to continue. And you had a very rainy winter, very cloudy winter. It's been cloudy for 85% of the winter. It's been cloudy across the Florida the state of Florida. So you can't call Florida the Sunshine State this winter as it's been cloudy 85% of the time. So, holy crap. All right, so 
Here is the current temperatures. You can see how warm it is out there. 70s and 80s in the Central Plains, all the way up to the Upper Midwest. 70 Minneapolis. Look at that 70 degree temperature there here in the Twin Cities. 70s through Wisconsin. 72 in Madison. So very warm. 72 in Chicago as well. 71 over Central Illinois. But we're seeing those 70s across Indiana in the 70s. Down to Missouri. 80s over across Oklahoma and North Texas. So very warm across the West. Dakota air is crossing the Northern Rockies and the Pacific Northwest. Where we're seeing snow in the Rockies, the Cascades, and the Sierras. We're seeing snow. It's even cool down in Southern California where temperatures are in the 50s in the LA and 60 in San Diego. Here's where the humidity is. So we can see the humidity down where we should see it this time of the year, South Texas, the Gulf Coast, and the Southeast where those temperatures, those dew points are in the 60s primarily. We do have a 70 degree dew point over there, over there in South Texas. So we're seeing the higher dew points down across the south where we should see them this time of the year. So that's uh, good and normal for you guys. But the dew point is a little higher across here in the upper Midwest, 45 the dew point. So that's why one of the reasons why we saw some thunderstorms. Even though it's not ideal, it was just enough moisture enough of a trigger in the area with a trough nearby and a weak frontal boundary nearby that's moving so it was enough to get the atmosphere juiced up and primed for some thunderstorms across the upper midwest i thought i heard some rumbles of thunder a little bit ago but it was just enough just enough thunderstorms are very tricky 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 indeed all right so here is our forecast for your Tuesday for Monday. This is your Monday weather forecast. So, very warm across the state of Texas. You're going to see thunderstorms in San, San Antonio, thunderstorms in Houston, New Orleans going to see some rain and thunderstorms, and thunderstorms in Tampa, and rain and thunderstorms down in Miami as well. So, we're going to see that wet weather along the Gulf Coast and severe weather. Snow is going to continue in Northern California and the Sierra Nevada. Scattered snow showers. We're going to see rain up in Seattle and Portland. We're going to see rain and snow across the northern Rockies. And we're going to see dry weather across the Midwest mostly. And the plains, dry weather in the Northeast. Maybe a shower around the Chicago area with a high of 71 for your Monday. So very nice across the Midwest. <laughs> 49 and 50 in Minneapolis. That's Still, even though it's cooler than it is today, it should not be 70 degrees in the first week of March. Do you know what the average high for this time of the year for right now is 34? It should be 34 in Minneapolis, not 70. God damn. It should even be 50. 50 is like, whoa, what is going on? That El Nino is not playing. The El Nino, the climate change is not playing. It's just not playing. The two working together here. This is the tag team. This is tag team on the weather department. So, all right. So the the warmth will be prevailing across the eastern half of the United States. Look at those 70s all the way up into the mid-Atlantic. 70 there for Cincinnati. See that 74? Or we're gonna see that uh, 69 up in Detroit. So uh, Cleveland. I'm sorry, Cleveland. 69 over there. So. Uh, even in the 50s over South St. Marie. And, and there's no ice on the lakes. There's hardly any ice on the Great Lakes. I, I think it's only like 3% coverage of the ice on the, no. Yeah, 3% of, of the Great Lakes. It's so ridiculous and stupid. All right, so here's your forecast for Tuesday. Much like Monday. Maybe a little bit cooler over in Minneapolis. It might drop another degree or two for a high of 47. But I think we'll hit that 50 tomorrow. But a high of 47 for your day on Tuesday. That warmth will, will settle a little bit further towards the east. You'll get at 71 across parts of uh, over there in Cincinnati. 71 degrees for your high for your Tuesday. But look at those temperatures, about 60 there in Washington with some rain showers in the Washington and Ohio Valley. We're going to see rain showers 
in the Northeast on your day on Tuesday, all the way up to Boston with the high of 45. There we're going to see some rain showers. And we're going to see rain showers continue across the state of Florida and in the southeast. So Atlanta, we're going to see some rain showers. We're going to see rain showers over Memphis, rain showers on the Gulf Coast and over southern Texas. We're going to see some rain showers and some thunderstorms. But we're going to see dry weather across the nation's midsection. That bet, bet, that a red flag advisory will continue in those winds as well across the central and southern plains and those snow showers will continue across the west in the Pacific Northwest. You can see those rain showers and snow showers continue. All right, so here is the list of your winter weather alerts, and this is gonna be through the remainder of your day today on Sunday, and we're gonna see that winter blizzard, that blizzard warning across the Sierra Nevada, even though we're not looking at the heaviest amount of snow, you get that blizzard warning because of 80 mile per hour wind. So, <laughs> The ridiculous winds have been obnoxious. We've seen winds almost 200 miles per hour in this storm system in, in California there in the Sierra. We've seen 200, almost 200 mile per hour winds. I mean, the highest wind ever recorded in the U.S. is up on Mount Washington in like Vermont, or yeah, I think it's in Vermont. And that has always the highest winds. But I think this has got to be. But that was because of, that was due to nine storm conditions. This is a storm here, so this won't count. So this is a normal day with 200 mile an hour winds. Good, good read, man. Shit. <laughs> so anyway, so here is your future radar and clouds out for the west, where we're going to see another storm system that's going to come down through the week and by that next weekend we're going to see that more rain moving into Southern California as well. We're going to see rain eventually moving to LA and this is going to be about Wednesday, about midweek. We're going to see that rain finally hit down into Southern California. More snow is going to fall across the Sierra Nevada, but this storm is going to take a very southerly track before it hits across Mexico and into the southern U.S. and that's going to bring rain across the Gulf Coast and Florida again later in the week. So here is your snow forecast for the next three days. It's going to be fairly quiet compared to what we've been seeing. So we still may see snow showers, but we're not going to see feet of snow over the next three days. There's going to be snow showers as we have a lot of moisture still in the air. It's still just enough lift out there to get some snow showers blowing and some blowing snow out there across the Sierra Nevada and into the northern Rockies. Here's your rain forecast for the next three days. Uh, showers, we're going to see a lot of unsettled conditions across the western U.S. And it's going to still bring some rain showers over into the down to Los Angeles and San Diego. It's going to be fairly light stuff. We're going to be looking like less than half an inch for most of you folks. Some of you folks might get up to an inch in Central California around like San Jose. You might see a little bit heavier rain in Monterey. But down to LA and San Diego, it's going to be less than a quarter of an inch. Very isolated, scattered showers, maybe even a thunderstorm. A thunderstorm can get you heavier rainfall amounts down in that region. So here's your future radar and clouds for the west, and it's going to be through Saturday, 7 o'clock. Again, a bigger storm is going to come through. A whole bunch of snow again in the Sierra Nevada. We're going to get another pounding as we head into next weekend, but that's going to bring a lot of rain into the northern into San Francisco and the Bay Area and the northern areas of the Central Valley. Sacramento. We're going to see the heavier rain again, but that's going to eventually on Sunday make its way down into Southern California. We're going to see heavy rain. LA, San Diego, Vegas. There will be some flash flooding uh, over the deserts once again, so get ready for that. All right, so here is a look at some of the some big uh, snowfall totals in California since Thursday when things started to begin to settle down. So, Homewood Mountain, we had 88 inches of snow. That's from one, week, one storm, 88 inches. 
87 in the Shooter Bowl Ski Resort, uh, 84 inches up in Soda Springs, California, um, Mount Rose Resort in Nevada, 80 inches and 72 inches in Palisades, which is around Lake Tahoe, so 72 inches of snow. So, god dang, that's a lot of snow. Alright, here's the wind. Look, look, there's the wind. So, Palisades, Tahoe, 190 miles per hour winds. Almost 200 miles. This is Category 5 hurricane. This is an EF2 tornado. EF3 tornado. 190 miles per hour. God dang, 184 miles per hour. Now, Ward Mountain. Mammoth Mountain, that's where everybody goes skiing. I used to go when I was a youngster and I lived out west. Man, I don't ski, but I do like to go. Man, man, 170 miles per hour winds. A wind does. Now, let me, let, me, let me clarify. The winds wasn't blowing at 190 miles per hour. It was one gust that hit 190. One gust that hit 184. These are the highest reported wind gusts. It could have only happened one time. But that was all you needed was to get one gust that high. And then we go down, we got Dodge Ridge, 148, and then um, Suggestion, I don't know how to put it, Suggestion uh, Creek is 138 miles per hour. Not a lot of stupid winds. There's a lot of power, some power outages due to weather across California, Nevada, Utah, and Arizona, but not a whole lot of folks. The most is in California, mostly Northern California, I would think, where we've had... Now, you know we had a tornado in California on Thursday? Yep, there was a tornado in Central California on Thursday as well. So, you know, it's been, you know, it's been happening lately. We've seen some tornadoes. And thinking of tornadoes, we're going to see some severe weather across the Midwest and the Central, in the, the general across Texas, Louisiana, Oklahoma, Arkansas, Missouri, Illinois. Uh, Wisconsin, we're going to see some severe weather on Tuesday. The main threat is going to be damaging winds and large hail. An isolated tornado is always possible. I don't, don't, I don't have to reiterate that because we all know that. And then uh, severe weather really breaks out on Tuesday across the deep south, Louisiana mostly, Mississippi, Arkansas, and East Texas. So Houston and New Orleans. Hattiesburg, Jackson, up to Texarkana, we're going to see the potential for severe thunderstorms, damaging winds, and large hail, and an isolated tornado is always possible. And it's going to rain hard, we're going to see some flash flooding as well. Again, as that storm system builds in across the plains around Texas and Oklahoma and Kansas, we'll see that low pressure center, and we're going to see that cold front sweep through with that severe weather. Here we go as we get into tomorrow evening. Here's what we're going to see a big threat for a lot of rain and thunderstorms tomorrow. And then on Tuesday. Woo! Tuesday looks active. Tuesday looks like a good day. It's a good day to be a thunderstorm on Tuesday. So we're going to see severe storms all the way up into the Midwest. Rain and thunderstorms all the way up to Detroit. Detroit down to the Gulf Coast. So rain and thunderstorms and the potential for severe weather here across the deep south and thunderstorms all the way up this low pressure center in the front all the way up into the midwest there into the ohio valley so heavy rain is going to lead to the likelihood of flash flooding across the mississippi river valley so east texas arkansas over the ozarks i'm going to say this is the ozarks and down across parts of louisiana we can see the likelihood of flooding as you can pick up a couple of inches of rain. And we're going to have a flood threat possible Tuesday and Wednesday as well. Only possible with some heavy rain and uh, uh, scattered thunderstorms down across the deep south. And this is the rainfall amounts you're expecting across the south as we head into Tuesday, Monday through Wednesday. So and if you're around New Orleans, you can pick up three to five inches of rain, and maybe even two to three inches of rain for the most part. But generally, one to two inches of rain with some isolated spots picking up much heavier rainfall amounts we can, like here over east of Atlanta, you can pick up two to three inches in that yellow spot there. So a lot of heavy rain is expected. We'll fall across the south this week, so it's gonna be very wet and very juicy and very warm. 
and the Northeast. It's also possible we're going to see some of that rain hit it that way, and maybe even some thunderstorms embedded, but no severe weather, and you only have the possible chance for some flooding in some of those areas. So, that's your weather forecast. Mr. G, reporting live from the Twin Cities, St. Paul, Minnesota. Say bye-bye to the Miami and the, uh, this, uh, what's the name of this? God damn it. I used to live in Florida. I, I can't remember because it was like 20 years ago. I lived in Florida. <laughs> but I can't remember. This is, uh, that's the Venetian Causeway right here. The Venetian Causeway. And, but I can't remember this bay here. Biscayne Bay, sorry. Biscayne Bay here on the Biscayne Bay because I used to live off of Biscayne Boulevard in Aventura. So, um, but anyway, that's our city of the day. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful place there. Fun place, a lot of hotties too. So, anyway, <laughs> I'm going to stop clowning and acting silly and, and call it a day because I, I feel a little bit loopy. I feel like I've been drinking, but I haven't back. I just needed some sleep, but I took a nap this afternoon, but it's a, I don't know, or maybe still telling them, maybe I should take another nap after I post this travesty of a video. Uh, Alright guys, I will see you tomorrow afternoon, remember it'll be afternoon or evening video because I have to work in the morning, so, alright, so I have to help, help Uncle Sam take care of his missiles and stuff like that. I'm not in the military, but I work in that industry. So, all right, guys. Bye-bye. <laughs>